It's springtime, which means it's time to see the tulips bloom all over the Netherlands. We see a lot of these pretty pictures on Instagram and think, how does it really look like in reality? What makes these fields worth visiting and why are they so abundant in this country? To answer these questions, my friends and I ventured out on a nice sunny day to Lees, a popular area for the tulip fields, not too far from Amsterdam. Hey explorers, Natasha here from the Traveling Foxes. I have to wear my mask, but we have just arrived at the train station, finally here. The train route was super chaotic. Though relatively short and easy to get to, it was quite a mission for me, especially when bringing a bike. Finally on our last stop, yay! So I am joined now with Johanna. Hey! Hi. We're on our way to Hillegom, and then we're going to have a short bike ride to Tulip Bar. She's gonna show me around. <laughs> hey guys, so I am taking over Natasha's blog and we are now at the Tulip Bar and look, it's like very beautiful and Instagrammable and we're gonna take some shots and some videos and then make a tour of the area Welcome to Tulip Barn! <laughs> the Tulip Barn is like Pinterest heaven a fun place to take photos while enjoying the rainbow-like field of flowers and playful photo objects around. There is an entrance fee of 4 euros per person. Because of Corona, you can only do a takeout coffee to go and some snacks. But other than that, you are free to roam the beautiful fields. So Johanna and I are going to take some beautiful pictures. If you really want to get the dreamy Instagram-worthy shot, Having a pro photographer with you on your trip is not such a bad idea. Now we are joined with a professional photographer, Ryan. <laughs> so I am joined with Romy. Yeah, she's, I. <laughs> she's one of the sisters who started Tulip Bar. Yeah, that's right. I started this together with my sister and it's for the first year now, so that's uh, that's really nice. You guys really did a really good job. What we did is we planted it in like the shape and the colors of the rainbow. Oh, It's nice. over 400,000 tulip bulbs and we got about 200 different uh, varieties in here, so. You mentioned 400,000? Yeah, 400,000 wow, tulips, that's so that's a quite lot. a lot. Uh, composed a lot of different uh, mixtures, so we got, for instance, like those yellow tulips over there. Uh, it's not just yellow tulips, but it's like 30 different varieties of yellow tulips. And same for the orange, same for the red ones. I think it will be from like April 15 till May 10. Uh, they will be at their most beautiful. September we have a Dahlia garden, so that's oh, gonna nice. be really nice too. <laughs> nice, thank you Romy. Yeah, thank you too. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> So now we are at the proper tulip fields. Look at that. It is so beautiful here. We're actually not that far from Tulip Barn and Romy gave us permission to visit the tulip fields. Stepping into the fields is a delicate mission. Make sure to respect the flowers and always have permission from the farmers. How are you feeling? I'm very good. <laughs> well, at least there's sun, but it is quite chilly, right? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. <laughs> True. I'm laughing at myself now because my outfit is so ridiculous. My hat, a winter jacket, a dress, and sneakers. <laughs> So unlike in Tulip Barn, you can actually go into the fields, take photos. This is a proper tulip farm where people are not allowed to go inside and step into the fields. You can damage these flowers quite easily, so farmers don't allow you to um, just step into the field whenever you want. You see others are just sitting down and to be honest it's really all you need. It's super relaxing, it's super nice to just enjoy the view and just soak it all in. To learn a little bit more about tulips and its many varieties and exotic mixtures, we visited a free show garden and had a chat with the owner who was absolutely passionate about them. 
part of my web shop Tulip Store. We sell exclusive tulips and unique mixtures uh, to consumers all in Europe. There are over 3,000 varieties of tulips, which literally blew my mind. And this show garden showcases over 500 of them, ranging from an eclectic mix to rare types of tulips that only blooms every couple of years. They like the, the climate we have here in Holland. Mm. We've got the sea climate, and that's really perfect for the growth of the flower bulbs. Yeah. And in combination with the, the old dunes where we are walking here, yeah. the sandy ground, it's a really perfect combination. Every country can have tulip bulbs, but uh, outside you need a cold period before yeah. flowering. Warm uh, countries uh, like Philippines, for example, <laughs> that is uh, more difficult, unfortunately. Yeah. We also had the opportunity to visit an actual tulip factory and greenhouse where they produce hundreds and thousands of fresh tulips ready to be sold in flower markets all over the world. The whole flower production is done here in the greenhouse, usually during winter. And since it's spring season, it's the time to harvest the flowers. So you don't really see that much tulips at the moment because they're out in the fields or in Ryan's bag at the moment. <laughs> On to our third tulip fields, Johanna set up a super nice picnic by the fields. I hope you enjoy the rest of your spring and I'll catch you guys again soon on our next adventure. We have this. I love this one. Strawberries. Oh wow. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>